everyone, it's Gleekles. Quick disclaimer, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but after something unfortunate happened, I had to use this footage because it would just go to waste. Basically, this is me drawing Guillotine from Marvel, and I was gonna do an art trade with Tori Ann, or Juicy Ink, as she's known here on YouTube, and we were gonna draw each other um, our favorite Marvel uh, characters from that little mobile app game. I completely forget what it's called. I think it's Marvel Contest of Champions. But yeah, a couple months ago, Tori and I were really addicted to the game and we came up with a really cool idea to do an art trade and give each other three of our favorite characters and the other person would have to pick one of them, draw it, ship it to the other person, and then they'd have to finish it. So this is basically me sketching out guillotine and the post lost it. Um, the postman has this drawing. I'm, I'm upset, um, obviously, but I at least have this footage, I guess. So I wanted to at least use it and show you guys basically my process for how I sit down and draw um, more elaborate characters. Usually I will draw simple things for the sake of a YouTube video to show you guys technique or whatever the aim of the video is, but this was gonna be way more in depth. Um, obviously, I'm going for a dynamic pose, full body character. Um, the, the name of the game you wanna do with something like this is you wanna take your time with it. <laughs> Excuse my hair. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is such old footage, um, but I'm so sorry for this. I apparently want to get knee deep all up in this drawing. Um, but anyways, so I did a couple of mini thumbnails to try and figure out the pose and what worked best for this. Obviously, you can see I have my phone up. I'm looking at the reference on the game I have. Um, but uh, I start drawing everything out, as uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, I draw everything out with shapes. A problem that a lot of people run into is they wanna get right into the details, but that you know usually ruins things for them because it, they are so focused on the details that they don't leave themselves enough room to figure out the proportions. What drawing the shapes does for you is it basically helps you figure out where everything's gonna go so then when you go to lay your details and all of the other good stuff down, um, you're just laying it on top of the shapes. As you've seen, I've drawn, erased, and drawn, erased. A lot of that is me not being happy with something, but a lot of that is also me lightening up where everything, like the general outline of her body is gonna be. And she has a lot of details, obviously, because she has armor. But it's easier for me to figure out the details of where everything's gonna go if I have the silhouette of her body down first. The best thing to do to get really comfortable with drawing human beings or characters or figuring out poses for them is to do, I know you're not gonna like this, but a lot of figure drawing practice. The more familiar you become with drawing figures, the more easier it's gonna be for you to create your own poses and become more fluent in the dynamic of how to make things and lay down pieces that are basically gonna just help you out later. Maybe this technique isn't meant for everyone. Um, I know a lot of people just like to lay down the details and work out from there. That's fine, um, but this is how I do it. I like to lay down the shapes, figure out the general silhouette of where everything's gonna go, and then go back in with my details. Again, before you do anything, it's probably best for you to make a couple of thumbnails, figure out your posing, and of course, especially if you're doing a character or anything, you know, this big a deal, you wanna have references. You can see I have my phone up and I'm looking at references. There's no shame in it at all. But um, yeah, that's the best advice I can give you. I am so sorry I don't have a finished piece for this. The postman stole it. But if you have any other questions about drawing characters or my process or any other videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.